Uh, bread. It's got a lot of bread. That's a consumable that doesn't go in there. Damn, we're getting some getting some shit now, aren't we? I can recycle these two guns. And probably most of this ammo. No. We're keeping most of this ammo. Keep 40 rounds. Shotgun ammo goes in there. That ammo goes in there. Assault rifle ammo. Uh, this goes in there. I'll give that to somebody. And I will... Disassemble these two. Recycling is good for the environment. Recycle. Recycle. Okay, good. Um, go back up here. Who has the shitty gun? You have the shitty gun? Mikhail? What you want? No, you have the good gun, but what how good is your gun? Show you show me your equipment. Just make it fucking quick. You've got a pretty good shotgun. This one is not any better. Alright. So let's see what you've got down here. You have the just a bare bones AK forty seven, right? What's new, Igor? Nothing much. What about you? Still thinking about Anton? Yeah, we had some great adventures together as mercenaries. I remember Anton talking about Kashem. What was that all about? Kashem was a nasty piece of business. How much do you know about the civil war in Syria? Not much. I've had other things on my mind. And you and the rest of the world. <clears throat> Nobody cares about those people. But the big players, Russia, the US, China... Most of these war-torn countries are nothing but... I feel like I know this dude's voice. Weapons ...and making policy. It's called war by proxy. Us mercs usually play a supporting role to the armies on the ground. Supplying intel, equipment... Kaya, do you know this guy's voice? There's an unspoken rule that we no? never attack each other directly. But sometimes right. we can get in each other's way, and then things can get out Okay, of I understand. That's Gosh, calm down. Passion. Okay, calm down. Assad's forces backed by Russian mercenaries clashed with the SDF, which was supported by the U.S., the U.S. used dozens of drones, fighter jets, and helicopters to pretty much annihilate the opposition. Anton and his mercenary buddies weren't equipped to deal with that kind of air superiority. He watched some of his friends die, and came close to getting killed himself. I admire your bravery and dedication, Olivier. And Anton's. Still, I can't help but wonder why we keep killing each other over some godforsaken strip of land. It goes against everything I believe. And I admire your idealism, Igor. But you're in the minority, and sometimes violence is the only way to solve a problem. That's something I think you're going to learn in the near future. Hmm. Wow. Alright, so he's healthy now. So feeding him double food fixes health, so that's good. Your base is quite comfortable, and it, ple it pleases your companion. Does it please you? My lord Ol Olivier... Thanks for the book. <laughs> Train. Do you think you could find some time to teach me some of your military? What tricks? kind of tricks can you show me uh, now? Be... Perfect precision. Revolver inflicts fifty percent more damage. Yes. Perfect. Let's do it. Follow me. I love the revolver. Fifty percent more damage, please. Now that we've covered the basics, 
It's time to introduce some more advanced techniques. Why am I staring at I'm boxes? I'm going to teach you how to shoot from cover. Oh, Don't okay. hug your cover. Keep it at arm's length or you won't be able to see your target. Remember to stay in cover as much as you can. Pick your target and squeeze the trigger gently. Don't rush. Okay, Igor. Ready? Go! Nicely done. Keep practicing and you'll be the terror of the zone in no time. I gotta go walk Toby. Uh, I'm not sure... You will still be on Ken, so I will lurk you till the end. Thank you so much, Vicky. Give Toby some scritches for me. So you can protect others. All right. Nice. How many perk points do we have? Uh, skills. I have one left, so I can't do anything now. Great, great. All right. What weapons do you have? Show me your equipment. Sure. You've got an AK-47, so if I give you this... If I give you this, your combat goes... Your artifice goes up, your perception goes down. Okay. Should I give him this shotgun, or should I upgrade his AK? I don't know what artifice... I don't know what these even mean. Like, what do these garner? Does, does it tell me anywhere what artifice and perception and intelligence... Like, what... Why does, why does having a handgun give me plus two intelligence? And what does it... What does that mean? What does it all mean, chat? Let's... The other guy has a shotgun, too, so let's just keep this guy with an AK. That's fine. Let's build some of these. We have none. I need five. Alright. Five of those. I need some armor. Can I build the tactile armor? Oh, I can. I'm going to build this. Oh! Okay. I think I have ceramic plates. Up. I think I have a ceramic plate. So use. Nice. Let's move it to there okay let's just scrap this shotgun I don't know uh, can I craft another one of these not all right, so let me see. Do I have... Oops. Holy shit. I can put six ceramic plates in here? Well, let me see if I have any in the thing over here first. Let's... Yeah, I do. Look. I have three metal plates. All right, so now I have three. So I can build three more, and I'll have full armor. Oh, wait. Nope. One, two, three. Okay, great. And now I have full armor. That's awesome. And... Let's see. What does it take? It takes two, six, and four. I could build. I could build these for both of my other companions too. Yeah. Let's do it. 
All right, you both get tactical armor. You're welcome. What's going on, Igor? Show me your equipment. Can we swap some stuff, Olivier? Sure. How about that? Wait. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Nice. And then I give him where's he at? Up here? Yeah. The fuck you want? Shut the fuck up! Want to trade? Just make it fucking quick. You make it quick. There we go. Okay, and then I'll scrap these two. Safety first! Because you're not using your fist, using a handgun instead to de definitely intelligent. That's probably true. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Let's put this in there. Uh, great. Great. All right. So we've got 40 ammo. We've got our revolver. We've got our armor on. We've got our gas mask. We don't need this or that. Hello? Why is it so hard to move? There we go. Like that. I like it. We do need to maybe buy inventory slots next. We're running a little bit low with how much ammo we've got to start carrying now. We're doubling the ammo we used to carry. Alright, I think we're good. Let's go sleepies. Wait, should I try and build a railgun? Can I build a railgun? I can build a railgun. Should I build a plasma thrower? Or a railgun? Or should I not build any of these and just stick with the gun I have that works perfectly? <laughs> Bring lockpicks on the next mission. Yes, I will definitely do that. I don't know if I want a railgun. I like my pistol. <laughs> It just got plus 50% damage. What the fuck do I need a railgun for? Hmm. Why do I need a railgun? What's going on? I didn't want to talk to you. That was a misclick. So keep the revolver for now. Yeah, maybe build it later just for fun. Like I like the revolver. I like the revolver too, quite a bit. What is this for? Oh, masks. I'm good on masks. All right. All right, let's go to sleep. I could do a simulation, but I don't have all the uh, clues. I don't have all the clues. Should I wait to get all the clues before I do the simulation? Or do I do the simulation? Hmm. I don't know what happens if you do it without all the clues. Because this one I did, and I had everything. I don't need to rush. Nah, you're right. You're right, Olive. Very wise. Uh, you have found... You have found enough clues on the board to run a simulation of past events. Are you sure you'd rather go to sleep than find out the truth about Tatiana? Oh. Maybe I'm not. It wants me to run a simulation. Okay. Well, fuck it. Let's just do it. Sure. Let's do it. 
see what happens. I don't know. Yes, comrade. We think that this subject could be the key. Patient Zero. Yes. She was pregnant. Only a couple of weeks. Yes, we were surprised too. She was she fucking was pregnant? Is. Based on the intel that our friends in the KGB provided us with, we've got two possible candidates. Unfortunately, one of them is already dead. Tatiana was pregnant? She was preggert? She was pregnant? How... How get pregnant? Progenerate. <laughs> Absolutely, comrade. We've taken every precaution to make sure that Amelieva and her child are safe and sound. We're very curious, too. We could be on the brink of something big here. Yes, I will keep you posted. Dear God, Tanya? She... She I could have a 30 child. I could have a 30 year old kid out there. And she was this patient zero. They were using her for their experiments from the start. They pumped her full of They pumped her full of Chernobylite. And then she had a bebe. Is my- Oh my god. Is my son the figure that keeps chasing me? That has been chasing me? sweetheart soon you will see the blue sky the meadows you will hear the sound of the ocean smell the pine trees feel the sunlight on your face you're a very special boy you have a bright future ahead of you i want you to go far far away from here and be happy he's the fucking guy that's cha that's been chasing me it's my son i almost fucking guarantee it Channel 4, huh? Don't be afraid. I will always be close to you. In your heart. In your deepest memories. Find me there. It's time. We have to hurry. I love you, my sweetheart. Your mommy loves you very, very much. Now go. Tanya was kept prisoner here. But her child, did someone take it away from her? It's fucking him. It's the guy that's chasing me. Oh, that gives me chills. KGB Science Division, Undisclosed Location, 1991. Yes, this is regrettable. My men are looking into it. Regrettable? It's a fucking disaster. How could you let this happen? If someone finds out... Mind your tone, comrade. I was fighting in Afghanistan when you were still pissing in your underwear. Oh, shit. Now the boy suffered from acute autism. Couldn't even speak. My bet is he's probably lying in a ditch somewhere. Rude. How 
However, he couldn't have escaped on his own. Someone helped him. Are you saying it was an inside job? It's too soon for definite conclusions, but yes, I would say so. So, it must be a spy, a CIA asset. Somebody left the window open? Did a birdie fly in? That would be weird. You KG people see spies everywhere. That probably explains why your arrest records are so high. Saddam is on the brink of invading Kuwait. I'm sure the CIA has more pressing problems than your research. No, this is not the CIA. This is someone closer to home. Don't worry. I intend to find out who. Look, General, I'm sorry I spoke out of turn before. I really do appreciate your work. You are vital to our efforts. The Duga project and our research, it could be bigger than nuclear weapons, bigger than even the space wars. The fuck are they trying to do? Make a super soldier? A lot is at stake here, even the future of the motherland. I already spoke with some of the party members, and... Let me be frank with you, comrade. The Soviet Union is falling apart at the seams, and I don't think anything can prevent that from happening. I'm not a scientist, but I've seen enough to know that this... Chernobylite, on the other hand, could be the key to our future. We all have to do whatever's necessary to prepare for it. This is a very Russian storyline. <laughs> so, it's it's all very believable. Had a boy, and he escaped. Was it mine? God, if it was, I can't. Ah, oh, compose yourself, Igor. It was him, the KGB dude. He was trying to expedite the Chernobylite experiments. Maybe they were even hoping that the findings would prolong the life of the Soviet Union. Clearly, they didn't succeed. Wow. Holy shit. I think it's my son! I think it's my son. Web of lies. Two skill points. Holy shit balls. Save game. Game status from zero minutes ago was manually saved in a special area. It's so, it's worded it's so weird. Okay. All right, guys. Holy shit. This has been... Whoa! That was a mind-blowing thing that just happened there. Huh. What a cool game. What a cool game. Thank you guys for hanging with me today. <clears throat> I'm gonna go get some lunch. I think I might want sushi. Does that sound good? I think I might want to get some sushi. <clears throat> but I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your day. Or night, whatever time it is, wherever you are around the world. As always, we'll continue our playthrough of Chernobylite tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Yes, Eastern Daylight Time. This game is getting really good. Uh, we we had multiple multiple gameplay elements happen that we haven't seen before today. The um the the being captured by the NAR, that was new, and the doing the uh and doing the virtual reality reenactments that was new, really cool stuff. We got our base on fleek. Yes, I just said that. And shit is popping. That's what the kids say. And we'll we'll do it all again tomorrow. Not the NRA, Oliver. The NAR. They're different. 
But yeah, I'm going to go grab some lunch. I hope everybody has a great one. Thanks so much. Uh, please hang out for the raid um, so we can show some love to somebody else. Um, uh, hanging out for the raid will get you some extra channel points as well, which will allow you to change the color of the lights over here or pick what we put on the Pixu. Um, among other things. Wake up, Ken. It's the same thing. <gasps> Mind blow. All right, guys. Take it easy. Love you all. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.